Hello everyone. Today I'd like to address an issue that's uh, of great concern to me personally, and that is the mindset that seems to be prevalent in our society today, either through uh, happenstance or through direct um, intention. Um, I was recently uh, involved in a conversation. This had to do with the fine line that scientists have to walk between trying to educate the public and being accused of fear-mongering. Well, first of all, fear-mongering is a misnomer. Uh, you can't collect or hoard fear. You can generate fear. Uh, you can hoard fishes, you can hoard money, but you can't hoard uh, fear. You can only create it. Fear is not a commodity unless you make horror films. Making horror films are false flag events anyway, right? Am I right? So what we have are sensationalists, people who try to evoke an emotional response in order to sell something or to gain hits on their site or whatever. What he said was, knowledge is not fear-mongering, but a way of taking guard against shock. Like a doctor who swears to try and do no harm, we have a duty to protect and I thought that was just an incredibly healthy point of view. Um, the fact is that when you tell people that there is something going on uh, that they need to be concerned about, uh, that isn't fear-mongering if the information is correct. Uh, the fear-mongers are the ones who, over the course of our lifetime, have instilled in us these uh, responses, these fearful reactions, and quite frankly, some of the uh, things that we're discovering uh, should scare the hell out of us. Uh, and if scaring the hell out of us gets us off our butts and starts uh, getting us to do something, and this is the other thing that is so frustrating, you hear the like, like mechanical beings uh, issuing out a pre-programmed response, I hear this over and over, that, well, there's nothing we can do about it anyway, you can't live forever, you know, things like this. You know, that, that is extremely apathetic and counterproductive, and from the point of view of the species, uh, it's slow death, it's, it's suicide. Uh, are we as a species that unwilling to, uh, you know, steer the car away from uh, the brick wall that we're heading towards? Um, now, what can we do? There is a lot we can do about it. We are uh, technologically advanced. We've been to the moon. We've sent uh, sophisticated satellites to the boundary of the uh, heliosphere, and they're beginning to discover what's you know beyond. Uh, we have technologies within the military which are at least you know 30 to 40, maybe 50 years ahead of the rest of society. Uh, this all needs to be brought out toward uh, creating solutions for these problems which should be alarming us. And one of these I do want to point out to you today, in fact uh, this was the, uh, the gentleman uh, that I got into this discussion with, is associated with, um, because one of the problems, and I'm going to call it global warming at this point, although climate change is the result of that warming, um, what we're seeing, you know, this melting of the permafrost in the Arctic uh, is just uh, become disastrous. Homes are falling and collapsing. And um, the uh, bigger problem, however, is the trapped methane. Now, when we first started talking about global warming, the scientists are always going to play it safe. They don't want to be seen as alarmists. They don't want to be seen as generating fear. So they they understated the dangers, and of course now 20 years later we're we're beginning to see these extreme swings in uh, climate, uh, flooding, uh, all, all kinds of uh, changes going on that should be scaring the hell out of us. The the next one that uh, really is going to put a nail in our coffin if we don't do something very soon is the methane 
uh, release. And this uh, Arctic News website, I'm going to show you here, gets into this discussion. And again, this is something we've known about for a while. We've known that uh, the ocean bottoms contain vast, vast fields of frozen methane that only needs to reach a tipping point. It's it's not a gradual thing. It's a it's like you you can you can warm it, warm it, warm it again. And then suddenly you reach a tipping point in temperature, and ice turns to liquid, or in this case, where it's going to turn into a uh, very powerful greenhouse gas, which uh, I don't believe on our planet has the capability of creating uh, counterbalancing uh, cloud cover to uh, mitigate um, the greenhouse gas effect uh, like water vapor does so the clouds kind of keep a check on that so when when this tipping point is reached and we start seeing uh, vast amounts of this uh, methane uh, much of which is already being released uh, in that permafrost that's melting in the Arctic we should be scared we should be very scared. There are also things going on with the sun. I don't know how many of you are monitoring or watching that. You should all be watching. If we have what's called another Carrington event, we're really screwed. And uh, again, I you know I'm not trying to raise fear, uh, but fear is a natural response. We we need to be launched into action to uh, protect ourselves from the solar kill shot, to uh, try to mitigate uh, global warming by whatever means possible. And the only people who are seeking hard to maintain the status quo are those who are making money on it, those who are gaining wealth uh, while having no regard for their own species. And this is truly insane, um, and we need to get a grip really fast. Thank you. Have a great day, everyone. Or as uh, uh, Nibiru Magic always says, uh, enjoy it while you can. Take care. One expert told us last year. But I think what we what we do know is that ice uh, um, is probably our best sensor of these large-scale changes taking place and in many ways I think we're in under, uncharted territory. I was embarrassed to be an American when I first saw this devastation, even if it's legal. You know. Following a cascading series of blunders and mishaps by the oil giant Shell. Shell's recent troubles culminated when its drill rig ran aground last week off the Alaskan coast, sparking concerns of a potential spill. So what is happening? Don't
feel guilty